So, my experience with Jerry was somewhat different than many of you. Um, I was always afraid of him. Uh, <laughs> because I would say something that I thought was reasonably intelligent, um, and then he'd show me through a joke or something or other that, no, it was completely stupid. Um, and I, I, I didn't talk philosophy with him. I was just so intimidating. Um, my main relationship was um, to get him to come here. Uh, that was my main task. And, um, to enjoy uh, what happened to the department um, after he came. Uh, so I want to tell you first one little story uh, about how he was recruited, um, and then second, um, a way in which it affected the department. Uh, so we were trying to get him to come here. Uh, and we, he ran a seminar. We stacked it. Um, we only allowed our smart graduate students to go. That was about three at the time. Um, now they're all wonderful. Um, but then it was about three. And only the people who knew Jerry's work, the faculty who knew Jerry's work, were allowed to go. Um, and so it was, a, of course, he was never deceived by that, but we thought it was pretty clever. And we, um, the semester after that, we made an offer, uh, an attractive offer, uh, especially for Rutgers at the time. Uh, and the vice president, the executive vice president for academic affairs, a guy named Alexander Pond, um, who was a fairly uptight physicist. Um, but he had a lot of drive for the university, and we were we met. Uh, uh, Pond and I went into New York to one of those fancy book club things, where it looks like there. I mean, the books were there, but nobody was reading them. <laughs> but in any case, we had dinner there, and this was the first meeting with the vice president and Jerry and me. I had met Jerry. But I didn't know very much about um, his humor and his wit. Um, anyway, Pond, the vice president, said to him, uh, we hope you come. You will be the first Wixel professor in the department. Um, uh, and Jerry said, well, I suppose there are some Ruth and John Wixel that I have to thank. And Pond said, no, um, it's an acronym. The state has passed, uh, um, through the legislature, the governor approved it. Um, we're, we're establishing some extremely well-funded uh, chairs that uh, for people whose sheer being present in the department will change the history of the department for the better. Um, and he said the, the acronym is WCSL. <laughs> and of course, Jerry said, well, well, what does that stand for? <laughs> That's what the Wixel was. Mm -hmm. um, and Pon said, if I could blush, I'd blush, um, that it was a world-class scholar leader. And I hadn't, at that time, detected this little thing that Jerry would do uh, when he had the reply. <laughs> um, and it dawned on him what he was going to say. Uh, and Jerry said, oh, I've heard them referred to as a WCSLBLS. <laughs> of course, I grab, grab the table, my knuckles turn white, and oh my God, what, what is coming? And he said, well, Pon asks straight out, not seeing anything humorous was about to come. Um, Pon said, well, 
what is the WCSLBLS? <laughs> and Jerry said, it's a world-class scholar leader by local standards. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily enough, Pond thought that was funny. <laughs> so, uh, all right, skip about three years, and Rutgers now is, or then, was ranked third or something by the Leiter Report. And I, I think Brian, but I'm not sure, I, I wrote, I was probably in the dean's office or something. Um, and I wrote and said, I think you should distribute this to all the faculty, the, the announcement in lighter about how we were doing. Uh, and uh, let's say it was Brian. Brian I, um, sent it around to the faculty, all of us. And Jerry replied <laughs> to everybody. Um, the article, it was in the New York Times, had had said our philosophy department was ranked third or something. And uh, that was a good thing, because our football team was ranked 90th. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this was, I'm not going to make it through football. We're still not making it through football. Um, but um, so that was the article that was sent around. Jerry wrote back to all of us, isn't it disgusting that they're ranking football teams the way they do philosophy? <laughs> 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 